Hello ladies and gents, this is Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials out there. Today I'm back again in my channel and uh, this time I'm going to be showing you how you will be able to create a fantastic uh, spider web with water drops on it. So you will be able to create the macrofe of a spider web uh, with fresh water drops that uh, you know an effect that uh, it is really easy to be created if you have a macro lens if you are willing to go close to a spider web and of course if you wake up uh, early enough to capture the water drops but uh, if you are afraid of spiders if you don't like to get up early in the morning or if you don't have a macro lens and uh, high advanced uh, camera you can do all of that inside Photoshop so let's start and create this wonderful effect inside Photoshop with uh, basic actually steps and not so advanced tricks so uh, I will go to Photoshop file new I will create a new document I will call it uh, my fresh spider web wonderful and the dimension the dimensions is 1920 1080 wonderful hit ok and my first step is to change uh, the color of the background so i will go and select let's say um, something like uh, yellow and uh, orange let's say well enough and just paint that so i will just take my bucket and paint that great afterwards I will go and I will grab my pen tool of course I know that many of you are scared of the pen tool my friends have no worries about the pen tool the pen tool it is one of the best tools in every creative program so you have to know how to use the pen tool in order to master Photoshop let's just create a, a small tutorial about the pen tool the pen tool actually connect the dots I create a dot here and then click over here and you see that I have just created uh, a line if you want to make uh, actually a turn or a shape you just click and then click and drag and now you can just create a shape and then click and drag and create a new shape and you see how it goes so I will go now back again and I will just start of course we have to have opened the window path in order paths actually in order to see our shape growing here uh, and then uh, I will go and I will uh, import one guide in order to see where is the center point of this document before that I will have to unlock this background just drag and drop the uh, this uh, locksmith over the trash can and then I will name this as a BG as a background and then I will just uh, convert this into a smart object so right click and convert to smart object my next step is the guide step so I will just uh, take out import uh, in my scene the rulers by hitting ctrl and R command R in Macintosh and then I will just select the move tool I will hit the show transform controls in order to see the center point of this background layer and then I will drag a vertical guide in order to lock it in the middle center point of this layer afterwards I will hide again my rulers Control R again wonderful and now I will grab my pen tool and I will just start to create this web it is really easy to create a web you just follow my steps I will uh, always click here in the center of this layer and then I will just click here and just go there and I have just created a straight line uh, let's say the one part actually of the web then I will control click outside of this uh, uh, actually shape work path let's say control click command click outside the box wonderful and then I just keep doing that so then I will go here and create another one control click just click here create another one then control click click here just create another one and so on and you see how easy it is to create the base i should say the skeleton of this web then i will go again and i will start closing this uh, this actually shape control click is the key command click of course in macintosh and my shape is done then I have to actually create the inner uh, parts of this web uh, 
If we go to the paths, we will realize that I have just created only one work path, which contains all those new extra lines. And of course, we will keep building over this work path. We will not create a new path. We want all of these to be united in one. And then I will go and I will just click here, actually control click first of all to go outside and then click here and click and drag in order to create that kind of uh, shape. It is really easy. Then I will just alt click over here in order to cut this, uh, this handler over here. And then I will just create a new one, cut it, new one and cut it, a new one. You see how easy it is. You can do the same thing with brass or the pencil tool, but of course uh, we're talking about, uh, really, uh, about a really bad uh, choice. This can be easily done and of course it will save so much time if we if you do it with the pen tool it is really easy and uh, probably this is a good practice to learn working with a pen tool the pen tool is one of my favorite tools i was really scared of working with the pen tool especially when i was just starting uh, using the Photoshop some years ago, but uh, once I I took the courage to study about it, and then uh, you know had the time to practice with it, uh, I understood that uh, the pen tool it is uh, probably the best tool inside Photoshop. So now I have just uh, created the second uh, shape, and actually I will create five or six shapes so. I can uh, do this really accurate or uh, really, you know, uh, fast and not so accurate. But as you realize, the trick is to step over the straight lines and just uh, drag it in order to make a curve. And that's the trick. So uh, I will see you in a while when I will finish this uh, wonderful uh, shape. And we are almost done. Our web looks really good. Great, and we're done. You see that? Uh, actually, it took uh, only one, two, three, four, uh, five, let's say. I could also create another one over here. It is really easy to be uh, redesigned. So I can actually create that as well while we speak. And, um, you know, that way I will have a more complex uh, web, but trust me, it's gonna be really easy this is the hardest part afterwards the things uh, they're gonna be really easy for me if you just follow this technique with the pen tool if you do it with the uh, brush or the, the pencil uh, even worse uh, you will have so much work to do my friend so I think we're done now and as you realize I have a wonderful web over here a wonderful shape then I will just go here I will create a new layer I will name this web skeleton great then I will go to the window I will open the brush panel in order to see what is going on here I will select the brush I will take out the shape dynamics I will just select uh, a simple brush I will lower the size at about one or two maybe one is good for me for now and of course the spacing should be at about one so one hundred and one and then I will go, I will select the web uh, skeleton layer, I will right click over this work path and I will just choose the stroke path. And out of the blue, I will paint with my brush, of course the brush, it is the small one pixel white brush, of course it has to be white, sorry about that. Okay, then uh, right click stroke path. And if you realize that, boom, our uh, design it is completed. Then I will go over my uh, web skeleton i will just right click blending options i will uh, create a drop shadow but not so hard shadow at about one size one pixel size wonderful and then i will go uh, over the filter i will go to the noise and add noise in order to create some noise and make this line to be uh, much more damaged much more realistic i should say at about 30 percent uniform monochromatic it is wonderful for me and my web now looks really wonderful my friends afterwards i will go i will create a new layer i will name this water drops and again i will use a new brush I will go to this brush, okay, 
and I will uh, change this uh, at about 15 pixels then I will go uh, hardness full 100 and then I will go to the spacing 200 and then I will go and uh, check the shape dynamics I will uh, increase the size detail to 75% and the minimum diameter at about 15% and that's it my friends of course again white color as a foreground color and then i will go to the paths right click stroke path and i will just choose the brass hit ok and voila it's done see that really easy if we were working with uh, actually with uh, brass and pen we will be <laughs> we will take uh, hours and hours to finish that but now it looks wonderful and it's uh, over the web skeleton all the water drops really easy with a click of a button this is the magic of photoshop uh, before i will continue with the water drops actually drops not drop uh, i will change the blend of the web skeleton to overlay in order to make this skeleton to be blend uh, nicely with the background we will see that afterwards and then i will go to water drops i will uh, change the blend as well to overlay and now you see what is going on here wonderful then i will go and uh, right click blending options over here and i will create a drop shadow over the water drops in order to make them pop more but of course i would have to lower some settings over here the distance zero and the size at one so the same actually uh shadow settings as the web skeleton and then we'll go we'll we will select the bevel and emboss and then i will go to the size at about uh, seven let's say six by seven maybe the soften at about two and then i will go and change the shadow mode this is the most crucial part change this black to white and then change this from multiply to overlay wonderful and uh, we are good to go afterwards we will select the inner shadow we will actually convert this from shadow uh, to uh, shine i will change this from black to white and i will change uh, the settings to zero zero maybe two over here so only a small part of inner shadow but a part that uh, makes the difference maybe a little more let's say or maybe the distance outside so let's say zero zero and three okay and then last step it is the satin which will make us create a much more uh, rounded and uh, water drop looking shape then i will go i will lower the distance i will lower the size great at about there probably and of course i can just lower that in order to have uh, a water drop not so dark so i will go at about 20 and then i will just lower the distance once more in order to have it uh, more close so i will just uh, hit my down arrow key at about six maybe the size it can be even higher at about 12 so 6 12 it is okay hit okay and this looks wonderful my friends over here last but not least i will create a new uh, layer i will name this water drops highlights great and then i will just control click over the water drops layer in order to uh, get the selection of the water drops then i will go and uh, increase actually sorry decrease uh, the um, the selection by go to the select modify contract so we will have to contract that inside uh, at about two pixels great and then i will just go and paint all the selection all the new selection with white so i will go to edit fill i will change this to white hit ok great and then i will select here the marquee i will zoom it i will go uh, I will hit the down arrow key four times one two three four I will hit the delete and then uh, two times on the left one two delete and then four times at the right one two one two delete and then select deselect 
and now my water drops are ready you see that out of the blue i have water drops and they are looking really really great now i will have to change the background in order to see what is going on so i will go i will select the background if you remember correct i have just uh, created that created that uh, as a smart object i converted that as a smart object and of course i did that thing in order to be e more easy for me to load fresh photographs uh, behind this uh, wonderful web so i will just uh, right click over this icon and uh, a new document have just uh, been created over here and opened here and here i will just load my new photograph so i will go here let's say maybe um, to this photograph i will select this photograph and i will drag and drop it over here great of course the smart, the smart object has more much more uh, potentials not only for uh, making it easy to load photographs but anyway i will just now close this one and save it and now the new photo is going to be over here behind my web and you see that that the overlay for these layers have just converted all my layers all my web into a transparent actually creation and then i will go to the background and i will create a new filter a smart filter actually which is uh, which will be the gaussian blur and the gaussian blur at about 200 and now i have just created uh, a very you know uh, blurry background and not so visible in order to see uh, in much better uh, you know way my uh, actually web and then i will go i will uh, go to the water drops i will control click that water drops and then i will go to the web selection to the web skeleton sorry and uh, hide the back parts you see that that parts if you don't really like those you can hide those parts of the web skeleton over a mask so i will hold the alt the option key in making those and just click that and you see that uh, all those behind skeleton web is been uh, disappeared maybe i have uh, a little more of uh, uh, glow so i will go to the water drops i will select the actually the inner shadow i will hide it doesn't really work anyway go here maybe mm, maybe the satin is the problem okay i think it is okay no worries so it is done you see that really easy how it's been converted and of course now if i want to change the background let's say with another photo as you can realize the the gaussian blur has affected only the smart object and not the photograph itself so right now the only thing that i have to do is to drag and drop photographs inside here and uh, they will be uh, transformed uh, right away into a blurry background i will go to the to the lightroom in order to load let's say a photograph so i will just load this one or maybe this one uh, from the beauty grease and then i will go and load it and wonderful then i will just drag and drop it over here and then i will just make it smaller in order to get all the colors and just close it and right away it will be converted to a background to a blurry background over uh, behind the web wonderful stuff wonderful stuff my friends so this was the tutorial for today i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that uh, you will be able to create some wonderful webs from now on without the fear of a spider uh, somewhere over there so the web it is spider free so don't worry just keep creating and keep photoshopping if you like my tutorial please like my work share my work and don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to watch much more tutorials from now on. Have fun my friends and keep photoshopping.